It's bad. Oh, here I am. Convalescing in San Diego, episode 36, everybody. So, um, oh, I know. I'm like totally popping up on everybody's feet every day. Let's show you decisions, baby. All right, I see my hubba Lorian and Barb. You two are like the first ones, even though I don't see the numbers. All right, everybody, let me know. I'm gonna let you know, hey Chan. Um, ah, okay, obviously, finally going home. Of course, I'm running on adrenaline and uh, Red Bulls. Red Bulls! Peach flavored Red Bull, my new favorite. What, what, oh, no, driving. Okay, so of course, um, BFF, uh, Dennis is here, um, you know, saving my butt, driving me home, because, yeah, physically, I've definitely taken a temporary beating, because I've been going crazy the last week. You guys all know that. Today was, um, Ezra, you were right. Today was phenomenal. It was, like, wild. It went beyond my wildest dreams. It is probably one of, like, you know, other than marrying you, it, it's probably one of the greatest highlights I'm gonna have in my life, I think. Um, I am flying high, I'm soaring, you know, I'll crash for a while and then I'll just go back up. And it's just like this, like this, like this. And you know what, Jane and everybody, Chan, Barb, um, everyone in the cult of Baby Yoda, everybody on the daily life of Baby Yoda, and everybody on my different random teams, all my admins, all my Baby Yoda Illuminati leaders, all of you, Thank you so much for all of your encouragement, your support, your love, your healthcare packages, <laughs> and um, everything that you guys have done for me this year. My personal friends, thank you for everything too. Um, my, my coworkers that have been watching, everybody, thank you so much. I am still definitely, hi Jennifer, you can totally tell um, you're hubby about this, but yes, I'm still recovering from a lot of my health conditions and I'm still about like, what, 55, maybe even 60% now, better, like overall. Um, but yeah, so it has been uh, crazy and wonderful, all these things that happen. And you know, um, I have no idea what I titled this already. Trials by Fire? You know, everyone, almost everyone here that tunes into my lives will know. Hola, Jules. Um, uh, estoy muy feliz ahora. Um, everyone knows my health basically collapsed in April. Um, my uh, health, and you know, it just kept dropping further and further until we figured it out in June. We don't know what caused it, but hey, you know what, it doesn't matter. We figured out the deficiencies and we treated those immediately and we corrected it. So it, it should take about a year for me to recover, but hey, I'm like on month five, four, five, four, five and, and luckily for me, I am recovering on schedule. So, you know, I, I got hopes that things are going great. I haven't been able to work and we've taken on tons of debt because of my crazy schemes and um, you know, just just not getting paid while I, I've taken all this time off since April. But you know what, uh, it's okay. I, I am fortunate enough to have financial safety nets because I'm a risk planner, like ridiculously. R risk management planning, I do that of course. So um, very risk averse. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I, I had so many safety nets. I'm pulling them all, but guess what? I have them, I'm lucky enough to have built so many safety nets that, you know, if I ever needed them one day, I, I've needed them and I've used them and I have maybe still a couple more. So we are great. Yeah, skinny, scheming, my evil plans. Um, yes, I think this is like my second step on the world to baby Yoda world domination, everybody. So yeah, it has been crazy wild and awesome. Ezra, your encouragement. Thank you so much, I love you. I was like having a little nervous breakdown last night and Ezra totally, totally pulled through for me. So, I love you honey. Couldn't do this without you and couldn't do this without a ton of other people. But guess what? We all work together, form our teams, get our A teams and our B teams, but guess what? Every team's needed. We all have our own talents and abilities and we play to them. That's what we do. We figure out what, what works for us and just why not focus on what we can do that's good. You don't have to do everything. Just focus on what you do good and what you're naturally good at and guess what? Maybe it'll work out for you. And um, you know, we've had many hardships in our life that we just had to deal with. Um, death of close friends, um, you know, uh, mis unfortunate events with, um, you know, uh, dealing with mixed families and an ex-wife, you know, law, law, lawsuits, other things. We've just had so many different bankruptcies through our lives, financial hardship. We, you know, 
we have so many struggles in our life, and I personally have as well, and Ezra, but you know what? We, we eventually make it through. So we go through all these trial by fires, and we wonder why. We're like, why do we have to struggle? Why do we have to suffer? Why, why won't the world, why won't the universe give me a break? It just, we fall, like, sometimes we have to fall to the bottom, to the very rock bottom, to realize this is when the rock, the universe is like, hey, now I'm here for you. Some universal power, whatever it is, God, whatever, that's your rock. You fall there and you finally hit it. And you're like, okay, you've hit it. I'm here. Go up. That's It's your time now to go up. And so, you know, I am basically almost 40. So um, it has taken me 40 years to hit rock bottom. But now I'm starting to climb up from rock bottom. And I think you guys have seen it. So, woo! I have started uh, my ascent and you know what all of you struggling right now ton tons of people are struggling especially during the, these dark COVID times but you know um, this, your struggling will not be in vain okay your struggling is valid it is painful but once you cross your trial by fire which is specific for each person and personal once you cross it you will be a beacon of light and hope to others that will have to also cross this bridge, the same trial by fire. You'll be on the other side and hopefully they will see you there and you will be able to hopefully help them. You know, unfortunately at times it's really difficult because we go through years and years and years of suffering and you feel like it's never gonna end. Like my four years of depression, I just, I just, I was a zombie for four years. I just, no passion, no nothing, no zest in life. Like. 180 degrees different from me today nothing so so I went from that back up so you guys can do it everyone's struggling with depression you know sometimes it's gonna we have to live with it for our whole life but you know it doesn't mean that it's gonna define us in a negative way we can eventually try to come to grips with what we have to deal with and um, eventually hopefully um, we'll be able to turn it around and uh, capitalize on that ability, you know, maybe not ability, capitalize on, like I have been able <laughs> in a way to my health misfortunes, uh, my financial misfortunes, I've been able to capitalize on it. I've been making baby Yoda memes. I became a baby Yoda memeologist. That's me capitalizing on my tragedies. Mm. So there you go. Um, yeah, Jules, I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. So basically you got, you got a snippet of what it's gonna be like when we have baby yoda con especially when we do the baby yoda ball we will be popping in all over the place on the page on the personal page on my personal page in the cult of baby yoda we will pop in, be popping in and out everywhere with lives randomly through all of the events so um for all you guys coming to it's officially called the child con in june 2021 uh, i think it's last weekend i don't remember anyways go to the child con page look at events that's when it's gonna happen when you guys come to Salt Lake for this event, it's basically gonna be like this. Or I'm gonna be like this. You're gonna see me in real life be like this and we're gonna do some crazy things. I obviously have tons of crazy plans already in my head and it will be a lot of fun. Remember, I have given myself the position direct uh, funds in a, what, the, the child con organization. Uh, I guess I'm also the CEO, uh, the CFO, and uh, yeah, I'll that's the president, I don't know, whatever. Director of fun, baby Yoda memeologist most important titles in the child con freaking revolutionary that one too revolutionary so it was nice seeing you all thank you all for helping me out again this is a group effort uh this is a community effort and i guess i'm a cult leader so so again we all came together and we um and I, I, i'm paving the way for all of us running straight forward and maybe sometimes I fall and trip but that's okay just get up and keep going that's what I do just get up and keep going after maybe some rest or and, and maybe some like emergency uh bandages stop bleeding a little bit all right guys it was great seeing you all bye